Hey Phoenix, are we waiting for the beater box to get here? Are, are you excited about the beater box, Bubby? How, how excited are you for the beater box? Really excited? Super excited? Yeah, you're excited, aren't you? Let's go get the beater box off the front porch. Twenty-five pounds sitting there. Get this bad boy upstairs quickly. Back to the most must-see show on YouTube, the Beater Box series. It's actually been several weeks since I've had a Beater Box. Um, Soul Supremacy hasn't dropped Beater Boxes on their SoulSteals.com website for I think three weeks. So there was a little bit of a hiatus with no Beater Boxes. It stunk for me, I'm sure. Uh, followers of my channel were asking the same things. Where's the Beater Boxes? Well. Finally, last Sunday, they dropped more beater boxes on soulsteals.com. I guess let's get this thing going. This beater box was $375 from Soul Supremacy via soulsteals.com. Um, obviously, there won't be any kind of Yeezys in it, but I have a lot of hope for maybe some kick-ass Jordan Retros. So let's get cracking. Let's see what I got. I am going to try my hardest not to peek into the beater box because even I like being surprised one shoe at a time. So bear with me, no peeking. I'm gonna put this down to the side. And let's do this one box at a time. First mystery pair in the beater box. Already, I, I, don't, I don't like this first pair. Allen Iversons. Yeah. Okay, so it started off with kind of a, um, not exactly a home run, but at least it's got a box for him. Condition, eh, worn like what? Four or five times. What size were these? 9.5 Reebok Question Mid, White Pearlized Navy, whatever these things are called, I don't know what name they are. But very clean shoe. Pretty much the insides look brand new. Outside of the shoe is freaking wonderful. Uh, just honestly, just a little bit of dirt on, on the bottom of the sole. You clean them and they'll look brand new. So I honestly have no idea how much these are worth, what they go for. I'm not up on my Iversons. No idea. So I'm gonna flash on the screen. If you wanna buy these from me, how much they'll cost you um, a rough amount, because I have no idea how to even gauge this shoe. So if you're interested in these things, hit me up. Um, shoe number one. It's gotta get better, it's gotta get better. Number two, I'm reaching in. I feel a shoe without a box, go ahead and pull them out. Oh, these are nice. These are bigger size too. Got a pair of Jordan 6 Maroons. Not bad shape. I mean, they're they've been worn a lot. Um, they look like they look like size 13, and they are size 13, so that's awesome. Um, these I will probably be keeping because they're my size, and I'm gonna clean these things up. See if I can get these things like very very cleaned up, and see what I can do with them. Um, I've already got what two pairs of these. One used, one DS. I might just keep a third pair. We'll see. So right now, these are off the selling block. Unless if you really freaking want these that that bad, I guess hit me up. But uh, I might end up keeping these. We'll see. So size 13 Jordan uh, 6 Maroons, no box. That's not bad. I'm reaching in. I don't feel anything else without a shoe box. That's the only thing I felt without a shoe box. So let's just start digging. First box. Or second box, I should say. I haven't seen the label yet. I'll show you guys first. Hopefully it's something good. Women's Air Jordan 5 Retro, retro size 7.5 women's, which would be like, what, a man size 6? And I've had these things like, what? I think this is the third beater box where I've gotten this shoe, this woman's exclusive shoe. And these things look like... I 
I'd say these things were just like tried on maybe one time. I think maybe tried on once just because there's no dirt on them. There's no signs of wear. So I think these are probably just tried on like one time. I'm thinking. Very possible. Looks like 2006 they were made. Okay. So 11 year old shoe. Looks like, like I said, like tried on one time. Maybe tried on. 10 out of 10 condition. But I don't think they've ever have seen the outside of like the shoe box or, 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 the, or the shoe store. So interest in these things, I guess, hit me up. I don't know the value of pretty much a DS or near DS pair of these shoes. I'm gonna have to look up to see exactly. These might be B grades. There's a stamp on the box right there as you see it right there. These might be B grades, looks like. I didn't see anything on the actual shoe tag of B grades, but the box is stamped where it looks like these might be B grades. But I don't know, whatever. Pretty nice shoe. I'll flash the screen exactly how much I guess they're selling for if you want to buy them. Of course, uh, best offer if you're interested. Next shoe, another small box. Show you first. There you go. Size 7 Air Zoom Flight. A much older box. So these are the uh, Gary Paytons, right? Yes. I say size 7, so smaller size. Man, that's about the same thing. I think these are DS. What years are these? These have no year. Are these like original ones? The box looks older. I think these actually might be originals, like the original uh, Gary Payne. Let me look this up real quick on my phone. I'm curious. Still looking on my phone. I just checked StockX app and it doesn't pull up. So I think these might be the OGs from like what the 90s maybe keep bearing with me check it eBay now because StockX when I pulled up the uh, product number it didn't have anything and there is no like uh, product like date code on, on, on this tag showing when it was made which leads me to believe these might be an OG pair 8300481022 So I looked these up and it looks like these are the original 1997 Air Zoom Flight Gary Payton the glove shoes This is the original 1997 pair dead stock brand new So that's actually I don't know if if there's a market really for OG like original dead stock Gary Payton shoes from 1997 is there a market for this? I have no idea. This is going to take a little bit of research. So um, if you're interested in an in, in original Nike Air Zoom size 7 Gary Payton um, shoes original from 97 dead stock condition hit me up and uh, I guess we'll see what these things are worth. I have no idea. I know if it's like an original Jordan pair from the 90s, you know, dead stock, they got some value. But Gary Payton's OGs from 97, is, is there value? I have no idea. Let's keep going. It actually took a little bit, a little, little bit of time to research and look to figure out what's going on. So next shoe, this box feels like a size 13 box because of size. Ah, size ten and a half. I am incorrect. It felt it just felt bigger. I guess I'm just hoping for shoes in my size. So here we go. These are the uh, what you call it, Jordan Five. Let's see. One lace, well, one half lace lock. So it appeared that they're missing the lace locks. It had one like half of a broken lace lock. But let's see, shoes, 
I give these things a uh, 8 out of 10 condition. Still a pretty clean shoe. Jumpman is fully intact on the shoe. Probably can't see it. Outsole is still, it's not that dirty. Minimal toe crease on the toe box. Uh, like I said, these will probably pass, like I said, uh, 8.5, 9 out of 10 condition. Very nice shoe. Size 10.5. I'm not sure. The value of used Jordan 5, I think mean, they're called the pre-grapes or something, or coppers or something like that. I can't remember. So I'll flash on the screen here exactly how much if you want to buy these. And of course, uh, best offer. So there might be some room to negotiate. Next shoe. Let's see. I'm not looking at the box. I'm feeling three shoe boxes left. We got an orange Nike box. There's the label. What in the world is this? Okay, that's different. Reveal. And here are some these hyperdunks. Look, these are actually hyper dunk. These is a pair of samples. Okay, interesting. What size? So this is a sample pair. Kind of like I guess a looksy or something. Size. Size nine. This says sample season F A zero eight. So it looks like this must have been season 2008 or something. But this is a sample pair of shoes. I guess with a sample tagging on them. Dead stock. I guess they're Hyper Dunk Elites. And so that's why the shoe label box looks so freaking strange. Because it's actually, it's a sample pair. So they took an orange box with their sample on it, but... Okay, so it says uh, suggested retail fifty nine ninety nine, Fame fifty nine men's sample. Uh, looks like this tag was made November November, February twenty two thousand nine. So, if you're interested in a sample pair of Nike Hyperdunks, size nine, dead stock with with uh, sample tagging on them and everything, kind of a cool. Like if you're if you're kind of a sample guy. With the original sample box hit me up i have no idea what these things are worth i have no idea what samples go for but uh i guess it's kind of cool get a sample so let's see pull this one out yeah, this box is kind of beat I'll show you this one there's no label on either side there's another pair of samples something here we've got look like some Air Force One LeBron James shoes what size are these this is another sample size 11.5 appears made for the season in 2007 Promo sample LeBron James shoes. That's actually kind of cool. Another pair of samples. Dead stock with uh, tags. I don't know, I'm kind of stumped. I don't really know much about this shoe, but the the insoles have a lot of writing on the insoles of this shoe, as long as they're not glued down. And they're glued down. I don't want to rip them out. But the insoles have writing on them. They say, I guess, Air Force 25th year, 25 years of dominate, personified by the something and best in the game on that insole. Okay, so it's the same thing. Actually, this looks like I read a bit easier. 25 years of domination personified by the baddest. 
and best in the game. So okay, so these were a pair of the LeBron James 25th anniversary shoes. Sample size 11.5. So that's interesting. I have no idea what sample shoes are worth. Absolute zero clue. They come with some replacement laces. So I don't know, once again, I'm gonna do some research on these things, see if they're worth anything, because I have absolutely zero freaking idea how much sample LeBron James Air Force One 25th anniversaries go for. No clue. This is an interesting beater box. One pair left. I've got what? One, two, three Jordan Retros. One Jordan Retro without the box in my size. A pair of Hyperdunk uh, Elite Samples. A pair of LeBron James Air Force One 25th Anniversary Samples. OG pair of uh, Air Zoom Flight Gary Payton the Glove Shoes from, from Dead Stock from 1997 original box. Interesting beater box. And here's the last pair. It is a Jordan box. There we go. Size 11 Air Jordan 9 Retro. And we've got the what, Johnny Kilroy's. Yeah, the Johnny Kilroy Air Jordan 9's. Really freaking clean condition. I mean, really, really clean condition. Maybe worn like, like one time, looks like. Literally, like worn one time. These things are very, very clean. Got the original shoe trees in them, original box. Yeah, these things are freaking clean. Like, when our person says very, very near dead stock, these honestly are very near dead stock. Like, I bet these were tried on in store, maybe worn out of the shoe store to the person's car, and that was it. I mean, the soles are immaculate. They're just unlaced. So, I'm saying, like, tried on one time, maybe worn one time for an hour. So, pretty nice shoe. Insane condition. These are from 2012. So, uh, I'm going to fire some screen how much, if you want to buy these, how much I'm asking or best offer. So all in all, I think this is actually a pretty good beater box 375. That is the last shoe. Um, I think it was actually pretty decent. Let me do a recap of all these shoes. I don't even know how to estimate some of these shoes. Like I have no idea. These two pairs of samples that I got, I have no idea how to gauge the value of samples because I've never messed around with sample shoes before. And OG shoes, dead stock OG shoes from 97, a pair of Gary Payton's. I have no idea what the value is on those. So I think this beater box is well worth 375. I think it was. I could be wrong. So I'm interested to do some research, find out some values of these, what, four, eight pairs of shoes. Because uh, this might have been a home run. I'm not sure. So hit me up if you're interested in these shoes. Um, I got, you know, prices, but best offer if you want to, you know, work with me on it. Or if the demand is huge for a certain shoe, obviously, you know, first person who says, I I want them for your price, you got them. So I love these beater boxes. They're just freaking awesome. Like this, this one was like an unusual beater box with some crazy stuff I've never seen before in beater box. I've never seen anybody on YouTube open a beater box with sample pair, DS pairs of samples OG shoes from 97 in dead stock condition. Very unusual beater box, but cool. So um, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, email. Direct links to those are below in the description box. Hopefully you enjoy this beater box. Half the video, I was kind of like stumped of what these things were because I don't know much about samples, but this was fun. Like this was a fun beater box. So um, contact me. Like I said, let me show you a little bit of a highlight of what I got. And I'll see you later.